Hi, this time I'm going to show you the elements of the view menu, some of the elements of the view menu of uh, Padre. What you can see here is 0.84 version of Padre. Uh, in your version it might be slightly different. And what you're uh, seeing in this editor is the main script of uh, Padre itself. So if you go to the view menu, there are a couple of uh, entries that are interesting. For example, there is the show line numbers that are basic things. Show, we'll show you the numbers on the left hand side or uh, there is the current line that uh, puts this yellow line in the editor. Uh, at the beginning when I started to use this I didn't really like it but now I got quite used to it and I prefer because it makes it easier for me to recognize where the cursor is currently. Then uh, there uh, is the project browser sorry, uh, the project browser uh, which opens a window on the left hand side if uh, oh, you open a file in, in Padre, a Perl file, uh, it will automatically traverse the directory structure and look for some kind of um, uh, uh, indication of uh, a project, a Perl project. So the indications could be either a makefile PL that you can see here, or a build PL, or uh, the ini file of the Dzilla uh, distributor. Or if you don't have any of those for some reason, which would not be really good, but if you don't have them, then you can just create an empty padre.yaml file and whenever pa padre finds that file it will assume that this is the root directory of your project and then you can see the whole project here that uh, is both for this, uh, this uh, showing the, the, f the directory here and for some other items in, in padre. Now if you go to the lib directory and there we can open uh, one of the files uh, the padre pm which is the main uh, module of uh, Padre. Going back to the view menu I can click on the show functions and it will open a window on the right hand side that will show all the functions that are defined functions or methods because that might be just methods uh, in an object oriented module. So the, all the functions that are defined in the current file. You can uh, click on either of these but when you double click on one of the entries Padre will automatically jump for to the definition of that uh, subroutine. Here at the top there is a filter so I can start typing in letters and it will filter the functions that will show only the functions that are that have that letter or uh, let's say e C letters uh, in the name. And that's the function I can close it here as well. The other thing on the right hand side which is interesting is the outline uh, entry. It's a more um, heavyweight a tool to do similar things, so it will parse your current the current file and show what pragmatas you're using, so strict or, or warnings or stuff like this, what modules are used in this code, and what methods are there that we saw earlier. Uh, here you can actually click on one item and it also automatically will jump, will show that part uh, of the editor of the file or you can uh, right click on one of them and then the go to element is the thing that you, you saw earlier jumping to the <coughs> actually uh, usage of the mod of the pragmata of or the module or you can click on open documentation and you will see the documentation of that specific pragmata or if you go to the module let's say this one and then open documentation and you will see the documentation of that module so that's what you can have from the outline view. <coughs> Another entry here is the output window which is at the bottom of the screen. Uh, that's interesting. That's going to be automatically opened uh, whenever something is something needs it. For example, when you run a script, then it might happen. Then there is a syntax check which is an important uh, tool. It opens and it takes some time because it actually checks whether the, the syntax is correct for this file. But then if you start typing in some code like this, then it will automatically check the syntax of the of the current file. Uh, you can see that uh, it gives you the error message here. If you click on the entry, then it will give you some uh, more uh, further description of the, the, di the diagnostics basically and then double clicking on the error actually will let you jump to the place where you have that. So for example if I just type in my here then it will tell me that the now is error is correct, the error syntax is correct. 
So that's the syntax check, and I think it's quite, uh, pretty useful for people to, to see that uh, all the time. And um, then uh, there are the new lines, so you can see what kind of new lines you have, which is uh, which can might which can help sometimes, or or you can see the white spaces here, the tops, and the, the actual spaces here. Uh, these are the things that you can see. Then the call tips. So let's turn this on, but let's turn the other things off because uh, I don't really the white spaces. I don't really like here and new lines. So uh, let's say I start to type in substring, uh, and then when I get to the full name of the subroutine, then it will show me a call tip here, uh, showing a small description of what kind of parameters that subroutine can have, or and uh, a little description of the subroutine. So that's basically I think what I could show you now. Uh, we'll see what other stuff uh, we can see in the next. Uh, edition of this screencast. Thank you for listening and watching. Bye-bye.